This invention lies in the field of impact reduction, applied to reducing the effect of impacts on individuals, especially within vehicles that are not normally fitted with seat belts. The design of the impact reducer is such that upon impact the first stage is to change the attitude of a seat in which it's normally horizontal or close to horizontal to an attitude in which it's tilted backwards. This tilt causes the internal force to press a person into the seat rather than tending to slide him off the seat. This is crucial to ensure that the person remains within the seat when during the second stage it decelerates in response to the impact. The design thus reduces the tendency for a person to slide off the seat when it decelerates upon an impact occurring and instead tends to settle the person more securely in the seat. The backrest is not the focus of this invention. The energy absorber absorbs energy as the seat moves forward so as to bring the seat progressively to a halt over the distance that the seat moves forward. This reduces the forces acting on the body of the person as compared to a sudden or near instantaneous stop where the forces can become enormously great resulting in serious injury or death. In the event of an impact, the impact reducers fitted to the seats facing rearwards allow the platform and the seat mounted on it to move in the direction of travel, a horizontal movement without any tilting of a platform and seat. The person is supported by the backrest of a seat while the shock absorber brings the platform and seat to a gradual halt, absorbing energy as it extends. This application will be of great advantage when fitted to a motor vehicle to reduce the effect of whiplash in the case of a rearward collision.